Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we move into full Alliance Insight season. Uh, so we got the cover cards revealed a couple weeks ago, two-ish weeks ago maybe, three weeks ago. Um, pretty powerful stuff for adding Nister, but uh, this is the first, this is like the beginning of when we actually move, move into like more consistent reveals. I'm expecting some reveals probably throughout this week uh, and probably into next week as well. So uh, here we go. Let's get into it. We're actually looking at new Skull Servant support. Very cool. This is like a meme deck, like a meme strategy that a lot of people really like. Well, these cards are pretty good though. We'll see though. Uh, I don't know too much about the archetype in depth, but uh, you know, I can give you my insight on if they're at least good cards. Uh, in a vacuum. So, first off, we have Moisa uh, White. Sorry. Uh, love the design on this guy, by the way. I think he actually has a really cool design um, there. So, that's really cool. Uh, so, Moisa uh, White is a level 1 dark zombie effect monster. 300 attack, 200 defense. You can only use the second effect uh, of this card once per turn. This card, its name becomes Skull Servant in Grave, of course. Uh, that's like the whole vibe of the deck is put as many Skull Servants in Graveyard as possible. And that way when you summon the King of the Skull Servants, he's going to be uh, like a huge, he's going to be a massive, ma massive beater and you just attack in once for game, ideally. Second effect, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Skull Servant or one card that mentions it from your deck to your hand, except for another copy of itself. Also, you can add special summon for the rest of the turn, except zombie monsters. So this is actually pretty good. Um, I don't know what the exactly what the best targets are for this, like what what the best Skull Servant, you know, searchable targets are to like get your engine going. Uh, but this is a Stratos, like that's already good, and it's level one, so you have the added benefit of one for one being an extra copy for this. That's not even once per turn, and that has a lot of good cards in graveyard. So one for one definitely has some good synergy there. Uh, that seems pretty good. Alright, third effect. During your main phase, you can normal summon one level 4 lower zombie in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. That's really good. So this card is a Stratos on summon, uh, and it gets you an additional normal summon. So that means you could just search, and that means searching any Skull Servant monster, you immediately get to normal it out. So this is basically tour guide. Uh, more or less there. Or you can even get Spells of Traps, because it adds any card that mentions it. And there's a new spell below, so hopefully that card will be good as well. The Zombie Log does seem a little bit tough. I don't know if the deck already locks you into Zombies. Um, if not, this could be a little bit tough. Because um, they're just there are stuff like Relinquished Anima and stuff that like would have been made this deck a little bit easier to kind of uh, facilitate some of their stuff. Um, I'm not going to lie. Sk Skull Servants seem like the, the kind of deck that like kind of is begging for a Link 1. I don't usually call for a Link 1 for many archetypes, but this seems like one of the decks that, like, a really good Link 1 could actually maybe make it interesting. Alright, and the other new card we have here is White Master, of course. Uh, it's a continuous spell um, that reads as follows. First effect, if King of the Skull Servants attacks a defense position monster and flick piercing to your opponent. That's actually really nice, because uh, like I said, this deck is all about just summoning a huge body in King of the Skull Servants. Uh, and punching, you know, for game, ideally. Uh, and being able to give him piercing is actually pretty nifty. Because uh, that means, you know what I mean, you can you can reach lethal, like, way easier, potentially. Second effect, once per turn, you can target a Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servants in your graveyard. Send one Skull Servant or one monster that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon that target, but you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except zombie monster. So again, another zombie lock. Sure. Uh, this card's decent. It's, it's not bad. Um, I like that it's once per turn. I like that you can just get it back every turn. Now, I don't know if, competitively speaking, um, Skull Servants really set up any interruptions at all. So, like, this only being once per turn instead of, uh, you know, on activation or something. Being able to use it every turn is really nice. That being said, uh, if the deck doesn't make any interruptions, then, I'm, then it's like, I don't really care competitively but that's that's okay right it's still it, this is a meme deck this is a fun deck a lot of people like this archetype and love trying to do meme stuff out of it and uh that's still fun and totally uh the vibe here so i like it it's cool uh nothing crazy competitively but that's totally okay here this is all we have i think revealed for tonight they'll probably do one thing a night for the next couple days i would guess that's normally how the beginning of of course sets go when they finally get into like reveal season so i'll keep you updated on all things news there but cool stuff i think these are pretty good cards these are these are just nice new additions to the uh 
to the Skull Servant deck. And uh, let me know your thoughts down below if you're if you're somebody who like actually messes with the deck. Uh, let me know if these actually make this deck any kind of interesting competitively. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, stay tuned for more news from me down the line. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.